Waking Up with... <laughs> Shivraj Prashad, your host on Good Morning Grandma. This Thursday, we again have Dia Koshi from Bangalore getting theatrical about the difference between need and want. Let's listen in. Hi, my name is Dia and I'm a freelance writer and editor based in Bangalore. Thank you for joining me on this podcast today. I'm here this morning to explain the difference between want and need, which many of us use interchangeably. In fact, a lot of people think that the two are similar, if not the exact same thing. Let's look at why that is not the case. Here are a few examples of how to use need correctly. We need oxygen, food and water to survive. We need medicine when we are unwell. After the earthquake, those who had lost their homes needed shelter. So, A need is something that is absolutely essential to our survival. If a need is not met, it will lead to illness or death. And now, here are a few examples of how to use want. I really want a slice of cake and a cappuccino. I want to travel to Goa for a break. I really want to learn to play the piano. So, a want is something that we desire. If a want is not met, It could lead to inconvenience, annoyance and mild disappointment at best. If you are still confused, just think of the Empress of France, Marie Antoinette, who clearly did not understand the difference between a need and a want. When the starving people of France needed bread, she suggested they eat cake instead. And we all know that ended badly for her. So, don't lose your head and remember that a need is essential to our survival and a want is really just a nice thing to have. Thank you for listening in today. You can reach me at dia.george at outlook.com. Have a great day. I hope what you heard was useful, but we'd love to hear from you as well. You too can feature on any episode by sending in your requests or feedback with a voice message on WhatsApp on plus 91-962-547-5. Double four two, or via email at shivraj at brevis dot in. We'd be happy to read out your message here, or even play it on an entire Friday special episode. Have a good day, and stay tuned for another fresh episode of Good Morning Grammar.